Ciao, welcome to the vlog. I just think there's too much noise. Ciao, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today we're doing a nice Sunday vlog back again in the echoey gym room. I rolled out of bed, drank a black cup of coffee, and pretty much came down to the gym. Today is just a day in the life Sunday vlog. I mean, I'm not doing too much interesting stuff, so it's definitely gonna be a full day of eating. <laughs> I actually have sourdough starter ready to use. So I'm gonna head back up after my workout and um, make some sourdough focaccia. First things first, I just wanna do a quick 30 minute body movement sort of thing. So we're gonna do some core, and by core I mean abdominals, lower back, glutes, and a little bit of, actually a little bit of upper back too, comes into core, hips, just this whole area down here that you can't really see that just is the powerhouse and keeps you healthy and strong and so functional. So we're gonna do a quick core workout, get going for the day, start off the day on a very good note. Let's hop into this workout. Would you follow me or would you let it be if I leave tonight? We could do this right, we'll find the remedy Or would you stay with me now till the morning light? Before you turn away, I just want you to know That I didn't throw your stuff away Before you make up your mind that I'm nowhere to find them Standing right here I know that I told you we're over I swear that I'm sober Just listen, I miss you And I know that I said all these things But now when you're with her I can see that That you miss Back from the gym, I came home straight from the gym and hopped right into making the bread because it's a long process. It's an all day process and I wanted to get it done as early as possible today. So I kind of rushed, um, which I hate rushing on a Sunday, but 
the bread needed my attention. So let me show you how I did that. after the salt is water. I got the water because you want purified water, you don't want like just nasty tap water because the chemicals even in the tap water can like kill the starter. So you just go for purified, go for filtered, all that kind of stuff. So I did some filtered water, but I grabbed it from the fridge so it was cold and you need the water to be a little bit over room temp, kind of warm to the touch. So Last ingredient um, for right now is the sourdough starter. Last night, it doubled this much, so that means it's really healthy, it's really good, it's really ready to be added into the focaccia batter. So we have all the dough ingredients together in a bowl, and so I'm just gonna slowly stir this all together until it creates a dough that we can work with. And then I'm gonna turn it onto the countertop here and kind of slap and fold it to kind of work the dough even more. done this for a little while now and it's gotten much more firmer it's sticking up a lot and it's gotten much more smooth so I'm gonna add it back into the bowl just like this sorry I'm out of breath it's quite the workout this is a difficult dough but it's a delicious dough if you have one use a dough hook if you can it'll save your life and your back The bread has been kneaded. It's kind of ready, I think it's ready. So I'm adding in like about a tablespoon of olive oil to this bowl, just a little bit so that the dough does not stick. And I'm gonna try to get this dough into as tight of a ball as possible. It is all in a tight little ball in the bowl. I'm gonna let that sit for two hours and every 30 minutes, so four times, we are gonna come back and do a quick little fold. So you wanna keep it covered in a draft-free area for the next two hours, and that's where we're gonna get So as soon as I finished the dough, I was ravenous, I was starving, hadn't had anything to eat all day, so I made a massive, honestly almost too big, <laughs> protein shake. I went to this place a couple vlogs ago, about a month ago, that made like a very like kind of frosty mocha, healthy situation. So I wanted to like recreate that. I had it at a juice place here in, in AZ. So I wanted to recreate that. So I made like this epic mocha frosty, healthy adult version, added some whipped cream on top, some coconut whipped cream on top because why not? So. Where we are now some sundays every once in a while pjs but for the most part you guys know me i love to like dress up and feel nice i literally did such minimal makeup too it's a huge part of the mediterranean lifestyle is just to feel your best and present yourself and just feel good the timer just went off it's time to do the last fold of this delicious sourdough focaccia so let's hop back into the kitchen and keep working on the focaccia so loosening it from the bowl making sure it's not too stuck to the bowl so we don't make a big mess.
so I'm gonna keep doing this until it literally won't spread anymore and once it stops wanting to spread and it just keeps coming back like this we're not gonna force it or fight it we're just gonna let it sit for like another 30 minutes and come back to it and keep trying to press it out fully it is exactly 12 30 I am very very hungry <laughs> all I've done so far today is work out make bread clean and make more food but I mean this is a full day of eating so here we go so I have prepped here please don't mind the boxes that we need to get rid of anyways I have prepped some shredded cucumbers some shredded carrots and some rice noodles. And then here I have the last little remaining of shrimp that I had in the freezer. So I'm just going to cook these off really quickly using some sesame oil. Like I mentioned earlier today, today is a Sunday. So it's usually my day for a massive fridge and freezer clean out. I kind of see what's going bad. So like I had a cucumber that was on its last life. So I did some of that. Rice noodles, I'm trying to use up. There's these shrimp were in my freezer. I've had them in my freezer for a few months. There, that was all that was left. So perfect amount for a little serving. And then I also made some, I had some dying super sad cilantro and then I have some basil. So I made a cilantro basil ginger vinaigrette here with soy sauce and lime and um, what else was in there? Honey and sesame oil. So it's kind of like a nice zingy fresh vinaigrette. This is gonna be kind of like a room temperature. It could even be kind of a cold dish. And it's just like the perfect thing for 115 degrees summer day here in Arizona. I'm just gonna cut up the shrimp, add it to the bowl, throw on the dressing, add some sesame seeds and call it a lunch. Let's toss up this salad. Okay, so I added some toasted sesame seeds. This is so vibrant, so delicious. I don't know what's wrong with me. I never put avocado on any of my recipes, and I guess I just never think about it. I don't, I like avocado, I don't love it, but people I know, like if you love avocado, like 90% of my recipes could use some avocado to put on top of it. <laughs> mm. What would have made this perfect is some fresh ginger grated into the dressing, but I didn't have any fresh ginger. I stirred it with the chopsticks, so this chopsticks are a little bit messy. <laughs> this is so good. And what I love about this dish too is the shredded cucumbers and carrots. I have so much volume to this meal, so it feels like you're eating a lot when really it's just a bunch of really thin little veggies. So this is absolutely delicious. I'm gonna munch on this and then get all the sesame seeds and carrots out of my teeth. <laughs> and I will see you after. Let's check on the sweet focaccia girl. Oh my, see? It's spread out by itself very well. You wanna start from the middle when you go back in and push it for a second time because that's where the most condensed amount is. We're just trying to evenly distribute it so it bakes evenly, okay? So it's exactly 301. Um, have not left the kitchen all day. Since my workout, I have literally been nonstop in the kitchen. Um, let me position on you. So I ate lunch and then, which you guys saw, <laughs> and then I chilled out because I had such a busy morning and it's a Sunday. I chilled out, watched a movie <laughs> sitting here in the um, kitchen. So that took me to about two and then I did all the dishes. So we have a clean start from scratch chicken, chicken, kitchen, <laughs> did all the dishes and then I started prepping for dessert. So as a recipe creator, I'm constantly making a bunch of food, a bunch of recipes, and I have to do them pretty quickly to get them out. So I always have, you know, a lot to share with you guys. So that means that I throw a lot of stuff in the freezer because I either don't use it all right away, I don't eat it all right away, and I hate when it all builds up. Like I have like all these things in the freezer and all these things in the fridge. I like like a very minimal amount of stuff 
weirdly enough. So I searched in my fridge and my freezer and like see, saw what I could like use up. And so I had some leftover crostata dough from my um, jammy raspberry jam lemon crostata. So it was a lemon kind of um, pie dough. And so I rolled it out, I defrosted it, rolled it out, and threw it in little tiny tart, adorable tart trays. And oh my gosh, so cute. I mean, how freaking cute are these little guys? This got a little bit golden brown, but that's fine. I wanted to bake them all the way. And then, oh my gosh, it's Caroline's most amazing miracle. They just pop right out, no sticking. And so those pie shells need to cool completely, if anything, be kind of cold. And then I pulled from the freezer blueberry lavender cheesecake filling. So this has been in the freezer for a long time. This has been in the freezer since February when I made my blueberry lavender cheesecake chia pudding breakfast video, breakfast recipe in the breakfast video. So I defrosted it and the texture, oh my gosh. It's still very creamy, mm, very delicious. A smidge separated, but not that big of a deal. Oh my gosh, this is, I could eat this just straight out of the jar. It's so divine. And before you're like, Caroline, that's germs. You're eating straight from a jar. I'm the only one who eats this, so. If I was sharing this, again, with other people, I would not be doing this gross but thing, but because it's just me. I'm eating from the jar. Okay, so the idea for dessert is to save this and not have any more. <laughs> and I'm gonna make little tiny blueberry lavender cheesecake tarts kind of thing once the tarts have fully, fully cooled because we don't want them to melt the cheesecake mixture. So I'm gonna pop this back in the fridge, wait for the tarts to cool, and I believe in like five minutes, it's time to start baking the focaccia. All right, so update. I lied about the bread. It's just not ready. I'm gonna give it an extra hour because it's like cracker thin. I want it to rise a little bit more. So I'm gonna give it another hour in the warmth. In the meantime, I have this delicious bufala mozzarella. So, I'm so sick of seeing burrata everywhere. Like, I don't understand what Americans have. This absolute love affair with burrata. If you've never tried bufala mozzarella, it's, it's so good. So I got this at Costco. That's where I find it. You could probably find it at an Italian like grocery store too. I'm gonna drain off the brine and we're gonna make like a little bit of a marinated mozzarella situation because I want something to go with the bread. And so this will add like flavors. It'll use up my herbs that are like on their last life in the fridge. A little bit of garlic, olive oil. It'll be so good with the bread. another Netflix show. Okay, I made the little divots with my fingers in the focaccia and now I'm gonna place the olives. I prepped these olives. These are my favorite green olives. You can use any of your favorite olives. It just adds some more texture and saltiness and goodness. Makes it a little more special. This is totally optional. You do not have to add the olives. I'm just kind of pressing them ever so slightly in because I don't want them to roll off when I cut into the bread. Mm. Okay, last, flaky, expensive sea salt, or just coarse salt, and do a very, very generous, very generous sprinkling. While we wait for the oven to preheat, it's time for some wine. This is flavored like heavily peach, and it's a little bit sparkling, so I thought I'd throw some strawberries in just for fun, because why not? It's from Trader Joe's. I don't love it, but I definitely like it. It's something different. Cheers. So we're baking this at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes, give or take, whenever it's just nice and golden brown. We're doing this in a glass pan because I don't have a metal pan. So we dropped the temperature down 25 degrees. If you are, if you do have a typical metal baking sheet, then timer. 
30. You would want to bake it at 450. Bread's in, wine is poured, mozzarella is marinating, the tart is already made, it's ready for dessert. I should just continue to chill. It's been a very, very chill Sunday. Literally, I've done nothing but food, but that's what I promised you guys. Update. This is the first time trying it with a glass container, glass baking dish. It definitely sticks way more and it still turned out pretty fabulous. I am not a pro by any means, so light judgment here, but I could have kneaded it a little bit better. As you see, the bubbles kind of opened and then a lot of them collapsed. That's why it's really kind of dense at the bottom, but at the end of the day, it's still incredibly, incredibly delicious. It's still so, so, so good. I've already tried like a little sliver. It still worked out. I just could do a much better job kneading. If you have a dough hook on an electric mixer, you're you're good. You're gonna, it'll work out so much better. I just got way too tired kneading. And definitely do it in a non-stick metal baking pan, glass, or cast iron glass is just not the way to go. But yeah, we're learning together, I guess. So let me make a little plate for this deliciousness. Dinner is served. So I have some bread, some nice, beautiful piece of like marinated lemon chicken, and then the marinated herby. <laughs> Lots of marinated herby goodness <laughs> on this plate. The marinated herby, herby mozzarella. So this is gonna be dinner, and it sounds like I'm just I'm so ready. I've been waiting all day to eat this bread. <laughs> strawberries are so good boozy fruit i mean what a perfect way to end the day i definitely started off this vlog with a workout planning to do like a day in my life plus a full day of eating well today in my life i literally did nothing but work out and be in the kitchen all day i feel like my workout like you know thank goodness i got to leave the apartment today for my workout because otherwise i might have gone insane i've been standing the entire day or at least it feels like it but we made some fun recipes I got to clean out my fridge and my freezer, which is always a super satisfying feeling. Do I eat like this every day? Absolutely not. 70% of the time, it's meal prep. <laughs> it's eating leftover recipes I created or things that just I have on hand. They're not beautiful. A lot of the times, they don't even make sense because I'm just trying to use up ingredients. But on the weekends, I like to splurge. I like to make fun recipes. I like to show you guys fun recipes. These are all things I would eat in a day. I just don't normally always eat like this. I don't know. I think I'm rambling. I'm definitely rambling. Last thing I ate for my full day of eating was some boozy strawberries. My pants are tight, but that's a sign of a good Sunday. So cheers. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you got any value out of this video, if you did enjoy, please hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you can know when I upload and support me and watch all my fun videos. All right, I'm acting weird. <laughs> Thank you again so much for watching and I hope you create a very zestful day. Ciao.